look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show If you're easily triggered, leave now Because this is not the show for you Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to uh, say this to you like this In my most humble opinion the modern day women, black women in particular, nobody wants to be their friends. You ever wonder why it's hard for a woman to get along with a man? Most time because women can't get along with each other. Women can't stand each other guts. Women don't like being around their own gender. So what I'm going to do is show you some clips out of Fair Youth showing you why these women cannot bond with women. So if they can't bond with their own kind, why do you think they can bond with you, gentlemen? A lot of these women are just so messed up mentally. My that their bad vibes run people off their attitudes act like a repellent but let me go ahead and pull this up out of fair use and you let me know what you think about this right quick and this is an educational video trying to educate you why they can't make no damn friends So y'all, I had a celebratory dinner with my friends now, my close friends for a party of 13, right? Tell me why only two of my friends at the whole 13 showed up. Because you don't got no damn friends. A lot of women hang with people who don't like them. A lot of women got friends that are jealous of them. This is why we keep saying single women make uh, women single. Because a lot of your single ass friends don't want to see you happy. So they would do everything they can to sabotage your relationship with a good man, with a good decent man, because you got something that they covet. You got something that they always wanted, but they can't maintain if they got it. You have something that they desire. Sometimes they wish they had the type of characteristic trait that you had to attract a good man. But since they are lacking in that department, they don't want to see you happy. That's why married women don't need to be hanging out with a whole bunch of single ass friends. This is why a lot of women who are in relationships should not even be listening to women who are not in relationships. They should not be listening to women who are in toxic relationships. They should not be listening to women who are cheating on their men. They should not be listening to women who, are, who have men that are cheating on them. Because single women keep women single. Women do not have each other best interests at heart. And the dinner was at six. The dinner was at six, y'all. It's now, what time it is? It's now 7-18. Don't nobody better invite me to their birthday stuff, to their baby shower, to their bitch. I'm not coming. I'm talking about my closest friends, y'all. Yeah. If those are your closest friends, then you truly don't have any, do you? I got another one I'm going to put up to you right quick, ladies and gentlemen. But what I'm saying, women don't like each other, man. And you wonder why they don't like you. Man, if you if you if you dating a girl and she don't have at least like two good good girlfriends, like ten years plus, I wouldn't fuck with her. Mm. Why? You can't, because you can't. You don't know how to have emotional mature relationships. Mm. Mm -hmm. Break that down. Like there, being emotionally mature is a thing. You mm -hmm. know how to handle your emotions. You know how to respond. You know how to and communicate. Not react, you know how to communicate. Mm -hmm. if emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is lacking in the black community. And it is a drought among black women, in my most humble opinion. Women are children. Grown women are children, in my most humble opinion, when it comes to their thinking. To their ability to be able to have emotional intelligence means they have to have self-restraint. They just chase pleasures. Black women today don't chase self-restraint or learning how to be temperate. They only chase pleasures, feel good moments. This is what black women want. And because of this, they are extremely jealous because if you get to something that they really desire, something that will make them feel really good, you get it and they can't, they become jealous of each other. Women hate on each other. Women hate so much on each other, they will purposely try to sleep with the other woman's man. Women hate on each other so much that they will slander each other, destroy each other. They only come together in unison when it, when it comes to talking down on men that's the only time these type of women are only on the same page these are this is the only time women come together in harmony is when they bash men of any ethnic group and after they are finished bashing men they go back to hating on each other and these women run in packs a packs a pack of women who can't stand each other 
a pack of women who are always watching each other, a pack of women who are always trying to keep up with each other, trying to keep up with the Joneses, trying to outdo each other, trying to compete with each other. Now, if you meet women who are already like that, gentlemen, what makes you think these women are going to treat you any better? If I cannot, I am a woman that likes to be around powerful, strong, smart, spiritual women, people who are stronger than me in certain areas because iron sharpens iron. Come I need on. to be around somebody that's not easily offended. I need to be around somebody that knows how to be like, no, 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 check that. I love you enough to check you. Come on, you trip Friends me. that check you. you trip Take me. that down. Women are not going to check each other because all of them are doing something bad. Almost all of them are doing something that's uncouth. They don't like correction. Gentlemen, if they are not willing to be corrected by those who they consider to be closest to them in the circles that they run in, why do you think they will allow you to check them? Why do you think they will allow you to correct them? They need it. We should be able to do that. But if they are already like this with their own friends, hope is over with. You got to find somebody else. Yeah. Take that off Instagram. What you mean? Yeah. Like, take that off. That, take that off. You look crazy. You look nuts. What, what are, are you, you doing? talking about? Whatever. I, if you don't have. Did you hear that? She was talking about you need to have a friend, lady, that will tell you to get off of social media dressed a certain way, dressing all provocative, looking all freaky and sexy and slutty. You know what I mean? But women who dress like that and post them type of pictures. Don't run with women who gonna check them because they wanna do whatever the hell they wanna do. They don't want to be checked. I just seen this girl on TikTok say, stay clear of the women who claim that they do not have friends. You know why it's good not having a lot of friends? Because as soon as you fall out with a female, she quick to go put all your business on the net or write all these sneak dissing ass statuses. Or Notice, notice what she just said. This is the same thing that men go through. As soon as they have a falling out with the woman that they are with, they go to social media, Facebook, Instagram, or whatever it may be to talk trash about that man, to subliminally sneak diss him, to indirectly disrespect him online. Now, again, ladies and gentlemen, if these women are doing this to their own friends, what makes you think that you're going to be different? These women have this stuff ingrained in them. This is why they cannot function in real relationships because they are just so hateful hearted and mean spirited. Or write all these sneak dissing ass statuses or got all this pent up ass energy that you never knew she felt until the moment of y'all getting into it and she got mad. And you know who do that shit the most? The bitches who run in packs. Loyalty don't change just because you mad. Like I said, where to go? If you got a homegirl, if you dating a woman who have a whole lot of girlfriends and they go places all the time, I guarantee you, almost all of those women in that group hate each other. They will fake that. They will act like, nah, this is my sister. This is my day one, my ace boon coon, and, and secretly be jealous of the next one. Almost all of them hate it. You might have, if you have 10, you may got two that may be authentic, which is rare. The rest of them gonna be hating on each other the whole time. So all this animosity towards each other they don't set that down when they get into a relationship with a man. That is in them. They have these reactions that they have learned, learned behavior. They have learned how to react to things in a certain way, in a negative fashion. So when you deal with these women, they treat you the same way that they would treat their friends, man. The same way. You don't change just because you're mad and arguments really show you who your real friends are. That's why me, I click the best with people who don't fuck with a lot of people. Now, when you get older in life, your circle of friends will get smaller because you got other responsibilities, other things that you have to do now as you as an older person than you couldn't do as a younger person. You got more responsibilities. But I'm talking about these women who always say, I want to go to brunch, get some mimosa. I want to go on a girl's trip. These women go on these girl trips and get these brunch things and be harsh, talk crazy, act like they love each other, and they really are jealous of each other. Girl, she couldn't afford this. Girl, she she didn't want to go do this. Talking bad about each other, man. Just a bunch of gossiping, gossiping helpers, man. Musty back helpers. They're going to treat you the same way, Jack. Anyway, 
I've never talked about my friend behind her back. I've never talked to a guy that my friend was talking to. Even if they stopped talking, I never pursued a guy that my friend was pursuing. I never stole money from my friends. I never stole clothes, jewelry, nothing like. Now check it out. She's talking about friends who do this. Stealing money, sleeping with their friends, man, which we know they do. Robbing them. Come on, man. Always the one being the hype man, always the one taking the pictures, getting the angles, giving ideas, giving suggestions, advice, love, support. And I've always gotten used for it. So, yeah, I can say that I don't need no female friends. I can smoke, drink, party, do all of that. I have five sisters. I can do all of that with my sisters if I want some female company. I will distance myself if I ever be around some weird shit. So, yeah. So this woman right here is talking about her own friends using her. This is why you meet women today, ladies and gentlemen, and they're trying to use you because they don't know how to be good people, man. They don't know how to be wholesome people, man. I'm giving you facts, Jack. I'm showing you. Women are telling you this themselves. And for the women who watch my shows, I'm sure you can testify to everything these women are saying. But I want to give it to you from a different angle, gentlemen. I want you to understand the reason why you may be having so many goddamn problems with some of these women is because they are always like that. Their character is always rotten when they are in the circle of their quote unquote friends. If a woman does not know how to be friendly, then how can she know how to be wifey? If a woman does not know how to be a friend, then how can she possibly ever know how to be a good woman in a relationship? That's basic shit. A lot of women say, I want my man to be my friend first, right? That's what they say, right? That's not a good thing. You know why? Because you don't even know how to be a motherfucking friend to your girlfriends, right? So how in the fuck can a man be your friend? You don't know how to be a friend to your homegirl. My man got to be my best friend. We see and we hear what you are doing to your quote unquote best friends already. You think a man want to be like that? The only difference between your girlfriends and your boyfriend is that one got a dick and the other one don't. One may got some money, the other one don't. You're going to treat them the same anyway. Shit. I've just come to the realization that as much as I say I want female friends, I don't like females. Makes kind of hard. She don't like females. She don't even like them. You got to at least have one or something you like. Do you like your mama? Like you tell men like myself when I make this content, you must have mama problems or your mama black. Well, hell, your mama black. So your mama black, so why the hell you treat your girlfriends the way you do? Answer that question, you hypocrite. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, you let me know what you think about this in the comments. Y'all have a great day now, you hear?